How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Table Takes Game Night. That's right. Today, we're going to be playing a very special game called Roll for Shoes. Amazing. That's right, folks. Now, why is it called Roll for Shoes? Well, this game is very simple. There are only six base rules to speak of. Basically, I'm going to be having all of our lovely players here today rolling lots of six-sided dice. And the, when, every time they do so, they're going to be crossing their fingers and hoping that they roll higher than I do. I, I will typically be rolling one, two, or three dice, depending on how difficult the situation is, sometimes four for a really difficult challenge. And if they roll higher, they win. Just like, uh, just check out Bonsai's uh, <laughs> demo example um, for for uh, an example of, of what that's going to look like. Or Noir's camera, for, for, it, for that matter. Okay, so in this game, uh, we will be running a, a special fantasy adventure. Our players are going to have to navigate it um, through typical RPG fashion. Shared storytelling and world building. Today, uh, we have a very special adventure. Um, it's called The Stranger, and I um, and I hope that all of my uh, trusted, uh, reliable, trustworthy uh, players are not uh, looking through the adventure that's on the website. But if you're at home and you want to follow along, feel free to do so. Now, the reason the name of the game is Roll for Shoes is because this idea actually came about when someone thought, hey, what about a game where you have to roll to see if you have shoes on. What if we got that pedantic with all of the dice rolls, but also made it really, really um, simple? Yeah, so a, a user by the name of D Weird posted the rules to this uh, back in 2010. Uh, so uh, thank you to them for designing the game. Thank you to the RollForShoes.com website for uh, putting it up for us so we can play. All right, if you all are ready, uh, I'm going to start by introducing the scenario. Then, as I'm talking, hopefully you guys will get a sense of the setting and the situation, and you'll give us a brief description of your character. But if you're worried about whether or not you have hair, whether or not uh, you have any gear or items, don't worry. You'll just roll for it. Here we go. Everybody ready? I'm, I'm seeing a lot of nods and thumbs ups. All right. Sounds good. So. <clears throat> Here we go. The camera is set on a wide desert landscape. The cactus far in the distance, mountains further out beyond the horizon in a bright blue sky. The camera then pans up to the blazing sun. You watch it as it morphs into a... Uh, uh, less of a gargantuan sphere, but rather a pebble in the sky. The sun has shrunken. We are now pointing towards a town, an old western town. It's quite large for an old western town. You can see a train running in the background, and folks are pushing their wagons or riding on horses from place to place. Uh, everybody seems to be very, very busy. Our camera then uh, tracks through the town as we see the different townsfolk who are all uh, working very steadily on their trait, on their crafts. Everybody appears to be disheveled, greasy, um, a little bit angry even, or grumpy. Most people are having a tough time as of late. Here in Dew Valley, D-E-W, <laughs> Um, everyone uh, is in a sour mood, and uh, it appears that we are going to get an answer as to why, as the camera then pushes through a couple of uh, doors into our uh, our play setting here today, the tavern, the, the town saloon. Um, it looks like uh, the town has been built up from the very first settlement in this area, after it drew crowds of folks for business opportunities, frontier adventure, and for some, the promise of a better future. This town is known for its uh, exportation of 
exportation or exploitation, you be the judge of oil. Um, the camera actually just gives us several shots of uh, huge cranes pumping oil out of the ground and the cracked, dry, uh, desolate earth all around, you know, just a couple of, you know, dead animals all, um, in, in, in the distance, uh, the buzzards flying down to peck at them. Um, but back here in the saloon, we uh, show that there are some folks in the corner playing uh, some card games as one does. Um, there appears to be a very sad woman, her face in her hands crying, although her outward appearance doesn't really reflect that uh, sentiment. In fact, she's wearing very uh, light, breezy, uh, uh, I would say elegant formal wear, her large white hat with a ribbon, black ribbon around it, and her flowing white billowing shirt as she is consoled by one of her friends who appears to be another woman much like herself, but uh, dressed all in pink. So we've got a bunch of different people all in the saloon. It lo looks to be very, very busy. Um, and that is when we land on one of our three characters um, sitting at the bar. And Anita, why don't you give us your character's brief description and a name? What would you, what you call you? Uh, yeah, so uh, there's a, uh, a kind of like black wide brim hat uh, with, with like this sort of stubbly, like chiseled jaw uh, and like a, a roll your own cigarette out of the one sort of black uh accoutrements uh man by the name of chance hutchins chance this hutchins chance hutchins is standing at the bar standing at the bar what is chance hutchins drinking uh chance hutchins is drinking a glass of milk roll do anything one i'm gonna roll uh opposed let me know what you got it's a three a three. I rolled a five. Sorry. So it looks like you're not drinking that. You're drinking something else. What is it? <laughs> something much, much worse. Uh, it uh, It's still milk, but it's curdled. Ooh, maybe he pushes it's, it aside. It's bad milk. Ooh. Yeah, that'll probably make you sick if you drink it. You don't want to drink that. Chance and down in a gulp. And uh, the, the camera then slowly shifts to the right as we see Noir's character. Yes, uh, you see a handsome individual with uh, a, a luscious hair just swaying in the breeze. Uh, there's a curl in front of my face. Uh, I am dressed in a uh, Vaporeon uh, romper. <laughs> uh, I'm just here being gorgeous. My character's name is G.K. Marcus. <laughs> G.K. Marcus? Yes. Is that spelled with a K as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, okay. so G.K. Marcus is sitting at mm -hmm. the bar. And what is G.K. Marcus doing? Uh, G.K. Marcus is sitting in a, in a dark corner. Uh... uh the 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 romper has a hood on it that has the Vaporeon uh, ears and everything. So I'm just sitting in the corner smoking a pipe, uh, very much like Aragorn at the beginning <laughs> of Fellowship of the Ring. Let's roll to and, see if you have a pipe. Okay, roll do I'm, anything one. Let's let's do it. I'm just rolling one d six here. Correct. Yep, yep. Let's just see if you roll high enough to beat All my right, roll. Well, if you roll a six. You also get a new skill. I rolled a six. Excellent. Uh, here it is. <laughs> okay, so you, you've got a pipe smoking skill. What do you want to call it? Uh, I'm calling it Aragorning. <laughs> <laughs> Aragorning one. You have Aragorning one. Now, yeah. Aragorning is specifically a uh, pipe smoking skill, which is mm -hmm. very clear. We don't want to. We don't want to yeah. get too broad and then just Aragorn <laughs> everything, okay? <laughs> is it smoking a pipe while looking mysterious? Looking mysterious and staring somebody down at a bar, like. 
specifically in a saloon while smoking up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. Perfect. So, um, uh, congratulations on your skill. You can feel free to use that anytime it applies. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come in, I'm sure it'll come in clutch. <laughs> uh, okay. And Bonsai, uh, the camera is going to sweep over to wherever you're sitting, standing, or doing things. Ah, you see in the corner there, Maximilian Walker. This, this place has a lot of corners. Corners. <laughs> well, just that. that no, this place has not eight in the corners. corners. There's eight. There's an octagonal I'm, room with lots of corners. No corners, actually. <laughs> I'm just staring at a, a, a shiny surface, so kind of making my very old, grimy miner constantly chewing tobacco and is covered in dirt. And you would not be surprised that if something's living in his beard. Hmm. Mm. Just looking What's in the mirror, name? I look handsome today. Yep. <laughs> and uh, what's his name? Maximilian Walker. Maximilian Walker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, Max. Excellent. Max for short. And what's Maximilian up to? You know what? I think there. I got something up my nose that I can't quite tell <laughs> if it's alive. <laughs> Like, roll not. do anything one. Is it that blow my nose? I think something's in there. Oh shoot, I didn't roll on camera, but I can show you. What. What'd you get? I did get hold on, hold on. Uh, bloop. So I did I did get a six. It didn't roll. You want me to re-roll it on camera? No, I believe okay. you. Okay. You you succeed at inspecting your nose and you get nose inspection one as a new skill. Oh, thank you. Very welcome. Oh, I should mention, uh, chance. Uh, you have one XP because you failed at a roll, and uh, XP can be used for advancing or leveling purposes only. So you can level up a skill you already have, except do anything one, or you can make a new skill if you roll all sixes. And you can turn dice into sixes with your XP, but you can't use that XP to get a success where you would otherwise fail. You can only use it to level up or advance. All right. So the three of you folks, you actually do know each other. And I'd like you to tell me how. How do you all know each other? What connects the three of you? Is it an object? Is it a place? Is it an event that you are all a part of, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Discuss. Uh, uh, we, we get together once a week and play this thing with dice and we <laughs> pretend we're other people. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a uh, great idea. GK introduced us to it. It's kind of mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. what was mm -hmm. the word he said? Lit, lit, lit. Oh lit, my lit. gosh, that, that that sounds like Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you all play a dice game. When was the last time you played this dice game? I you reckon like like la like last Saturday. You know, we, it we, might we be about with... time for us to start another session. You know, well, mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. going to say, if I may, you can find us every Friday. Oh my god, at the same place, same channel. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, who yeah, there's somebody uh, who's like walks by and hears you say that. To when, 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 he, when he goes and does that, I, I, I don't, I don't know. This is imaginary people, but we just go along because you know he's fun. Yeah, so there is um, a person. It appears to be. Uh, let me roll for this. Hold on. Um, this person, I got. It. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this person is a blacksmith, uh, and it appears that uh, they are. Ooh, uh, they're very very skinny. <laughs> Um, they appear to be wearing a very thin shirt, short sleeve shirt, and um, some very tight fitting short shorts. Um, and uh, he overhears uh, GK uh, saying this is like, where though? Where can I catch you? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You can find us every Friday on ShinCon TV on Twitch. <laughs> Interesting. That's, that sounds like a, a show. Do you have a show? I have a couple of shows. I'm GK Marcus. I've run Hollywood. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, this guy seems really interested. He kind of wants to sit down. Do you guys let him? 
No. <laughs> I, I like mean, I might be willing to talk to him about a commission because I'm looking for like a new dice set, and if I could get some forged, that would be real cool. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, he seems really interested in uh, helping you with that. As soon as you mention um, that you have some ideas that you want to um, exp- uh, sort of flesh out with them, or or, or if, if there's a thing that you want, he he says, "Well, I think I can probably help you find something like that." You know, who's really got a lot of dice? He's interrupted as someone bursts through the doors to the saloon. A very large figure. You're not really sure what they are because it's kind of all hidden behind the large hat that seems to come down over their head. Dressed in all black, this figure puts well, I'm a dressed stop. in all black. They're stealing my style. They're much taller than you. And they actually... Uh, you can actually see through the doors that seem to be swinging back and forth as he's like burst in. Uh, there's a black horse with smoky red eyes, um, uh, sort of like eyeing you with the side of its face as the stranger comes in. Um, and you can actually see him uh, or them uh, sort of flip their long coat back so you can see. There are like nine or ten guns in uh, holsters as well as several pouches that uh, seem to be spilling over with bullets that are just barely um, being contained by these large pa- leather pouches. I, uh, I nudge uh, uh, next to me like, I, I think this person's overcompensating it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I would like to walk over to this first. Oh, hold on one second. One second. Okay, I'll, let okay. you, I'll let you do that. But um, they overhear Maximilian. <laughs> And you can tell that they do uh, because a large pointed ear pops itself out from underneath the hat. And uh, this person turns slightly towards you, uh, Maximilian, and says, Now which one of you said that? Now, uh, 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 GK. I thought it real loud. (laughs) GK, what did you want to do? Uh, I'd like to walk over to this individual after he says which one he said that and go on. Uh, oh, no, hold on. Hold on. Oh, yes. Roll do anything one. Let's, let's <laughs> get it. <laughs> I'm here for it. All right. Oh, boy. That's a two. You succeeded, actually. Hey! Oh, hey! So you walk over. So I walk over to him. And I'm just gonna go. Uh, none of this is working. Yeah, you should, you should give me a gun. <laughs> so hold on. What do you want? You Jedi mind trick. You. I'm rolling three mind dice mind? against this. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. and, go ahead and roll. Into uh, what do you think you're doing here? You're trying to get him to to give you one of his guns. Well, I want him to feel so bad about his fit that he gives me a gun. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Well, let's, let's see how it goes. Uh, okay. I got a six. Okay, you still fail. You, you get one XP. Okay. And you get a new skill at level one, but you did fail. Okay. Day. Um. Alright, um. Uh, <laughs> do, do I get the name of skill? Yes, you absolutely do. What is the skill called? Uh, I'm gonna call this uh queer eyeing. It's it's, it's uh, from my favorite show. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. That peacocking. That's great. Where where you where you uh where you diss somebody's life choices so much that they that they make a drastic change. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Please add that to your character sheet. <laughs> and you got one XP, so don't forget to use that later on. Okay. Um, okay. So. Uh, the stranger uh, sort of turns towards you. You cannot see any of their features except for that ear that's poked out. They push it back in. And while you're distracted looking at that, you, um, you hear a gunshot. Bang! And you look down and you can see that you're sort of bleeding out of your side. Oh, he shot me? And you look down to see that there is a gun pointed at you with the other finger while you were distracted. 
Uh, he shot my friend, so I'm gonna take my chair and 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 smack 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 the person. Okay, you you pull out a chair and you try to smack him. Go ahead. My roll. rappers. I'm rolling two dice. Go ahead, roll. Do anything one. Do anything one. Hold on. Do 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 do. And eh. oh, I got dose. Oh, sorry. Well, you you get one XP, uh, but you fail. So I fail. The chair, you huck it into the air, and um, uh, a, no, two, a second gun comes out, and uh, the stranger shoots uh, the, the chair twice, and it sort of splinters um, on his head, sort of bursts apart, and then falls to the ground. Um, and so he says, um, <laughs> he, he looks over at you as uh, GK is sort of bleeding out onto the ground. Wow. <laughs> he, he says over to Maximilian, I'm calling you out tomorrow at noon. Right there. And you can see the horse whinnies outside and rears up on two legs. And uh, a, there's actually a thunderclap up That's above. That's a strange way to ask me for a date, but I'm I'm down. You know, I don't I don't necessarily just meet people like, you know, date people who like shoot my friends that's that's not nice but if you're willing you know we could split the bill go go dutch I, i'm i'm into to that the stranger looks around and says you all heard it <laughs> challenge was accepted tips his hat and he walks out from so, my fantasy hold on one second one second, okay. one, second. <laughs> <laughs> one second outside you can already hear and see the thunder clouds never before seen over this town have formed at the stranger's arrival you can hear the thunder roaring and clapping up, up above you the the area around you which is usually bright and shining and shimmering this time of day is overcast and it looks like it might rain uh what are you gonna say i was just gonna yell at him from my vantage point here on the ground i can tell you that your shoes also do not work you should leave a gun here so that my friend has something to fight with. Oh, <laughs> I like to okay. Try and clear eye yeah, please, please, absolutely, absolutely. Let's see, take pity on you. I'm only rolling two dice. For this. All right, uh, it, might, me... it might work. It might work. Me... You roll one die still. Okay. That's Ooh, a five. five. No, sorry, still not high enough. So, uh, the stranger just chuckles, bursts through the doors, and uh, hops on their horse. Uh, but you got one XP. Do you still do you want to use your old XP and level this up? Yeah, let's level up Queer Eye. <laughs> okay, you got Queer Eyeing two now. Yeah. So does that mean I roll two die when I Queer Eye now? Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm going to make this the deadliest skill. <laughs> so somebody runs over and uh, uh, puts a, a rag over your side. Um, it looks to be a man who you recognize as the town's doctor, town's only doctor, who just happened to be having a drink in the middle of the day. Doc, give it, give it, shoot it to me straight. Will the rapper survive? Somebody get this man some whiskey. He's starting to hallucinate from blood loss. <laughs> Uh, so from behind the bar, somebody chucks a whole bottle of whiskey at the doctor who grabs it and uh, starts pouring it into your mouth. I'm not paying for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you all doing? That okay. guy stole my style. I think I need to get some revenge. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, everybody starts, everybody hears this, and you hear a couple of. Hey, and there's murmurs. There are people gossiping now. Good. Let them talk. So, so I, I, I'm not too sure. If, am I on a date? Or... I mean, we can always get you dolled up real nice beforehand, either way. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, you either make a pretty date or you make a pretty corpse. Anybody got any club soda for the romper? <laughs> Makeover montage? The uh, doctor, cold water will sort that out. The doctor yeah. um, says, uh, "We're gonna need to. We're gonna have to do some surgery to get this bullet out of you. I've seen, you know, people get shot here all the time. We're gonna have to roll you out of here on a stretcher and operate before you start going any more insane." 
Doctor, you don't understand. I always die. That's fine. <laughs> At least. <laughs> but I can't have anything happen to this robin. <laughs> you see there's actually a giant hole in the romper. It's just profusely just gushing blood into it. He's trying desperately to stop the bleeding, but you're close to passing out from blood. Oh. Uh, I'm I'm gonna help because I'm sure tobacco has good uh sanitation qualities, and I'm gonna stop the bleeding by taking my water tobacco and oh, what are you doing? sticking it in the bullet hole. Wound. Okay, oh. the, please oh, roll. No. Do anything. One. <laughs> I think and this is a good roll. I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm. Oh, I'm, oh. oh I got a one. On one. Okay, so you do oh. fail. Do you want to use your XP to to love to get a new skill on this? I don't know if you have any. Uh, I have one XP already. Okay, so if you want to so, use it, you can. You get a new skill. Uh, I, ooh, ooh, uh, I, I'm gonna make this skill into uh tobacco medicine. Tobacco medicine. <laughs> tobacco plug. Else, yeah. Tobacco plug. There you go. Huh? What is, what is it? Tobacco plug-in? Tobacco plug-in, right. yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Back. Oh, no, nothing. Don't worry about me. Okay. I'm just fine. Yeah, well, um, all the, all of the, the folks who are watching uh, uh, GK get uh, picked up uh, and hoisted onto a stretcher and then eventually taken out of the saloon Did are you chattering. Just put spit in my bullet wound. <laughs> <laughs> it's herbs. The and... doctor sw- smacks you in the hand. Like, That's not gonna help anybody. I. It makes me feel better when, when I chew. Oh. So if you put it in the alley, you know, tobacco goes in a hole somehow. It helps I'm... in other holes too. If you have like backup issues, I you can don't plug it know up what you do with holes. Let's get out of here make... before she tries something else. <laughs> they, they just take the GK away. Guard uh, my holes. Uh, what's your character's <laughs> name again? Sorry if I uh, not to here. Let me throw it up on uh, on Zoom so that you can see. It's Chance. Chance. All right, Chance. But yeah, I think I think that fella done or that person they done stole your style, Chance. I think we need to go. Like he stole our style. He ruined our friend's onesie, and he asked mm. you out on a date. It's a rapper. The town folks uh, <laughs> sitting around you guys can actually. They're definitely listening in. Uh, a couple of people have like come up to the table uh, or just like sort of standing there talking to each other. And then one person actually approaches the two of you um, and says, um, you don't know how to, a duel works? Uh, are, you, are, you sh- are you sure you're going to be okay? How long have you been in this town? Uh, people are really sort of like, oh, it was a duel? Sort of gossiping around you. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was like a date situation. It sounded very suggestive to me when when that was told. Just like you know, there wasn't a word of duel. Just meet me outside. At this Everybody location. starts to laugh. Uh, Everybody. Yes, like, <laughs> I I would just like to mention that I was not in a duel yet. I have been what I now believe to be long shot. <laughs> yeah. So I'm next for. GK, they put you down on a table. So you're saying all of this while uh, the doctor has like got his like full kit out and he's starting to operate, digging into your wound. Oh, you want kind of full- JK, you want some of this? It'll, it'll, it'll like take it out of my mouth and try to start covering it closer to yours. Get away from my holes. <laughs> okay, Chance, you want some of this? Uh, gonna- I'll take a I'll take a plug. There you go. And I start just swapping space. You're gonna, you're gonna have to. Maximilian is gonna have to sh- duel uh, the stranger now. I mean, he's already accepted it. Otherwise, by law, we have to take Maximilian out into the desert uh, and then handcuff you uh, and then cover you in oil and and then throw a bunch of feathers at you and make you run around uh, while we all sort of chant at you. I mean, that's. That's How do you guys so not that, know this? This is like a weekly thing that we do, like all the time. You a weekly? We we're always in here. Is that what all that noise is about when we're playing with JK? I think that, so. Yeah, I we're don't always like in to here. press charges. I've been shot. 
<laughs> well, I'm... I hope you guys have a gun because otherwise, I don't know how you're getting yourselves out of this situation. And then whoever hey. was talking just pushes their way back into the crowd. And they all can play. I can I t- respond to that person that said that? Yeah, go ahead. Do you have a gun? Um. Yeah, and then everybody in the entire saloon holds out a gun. Can I have a gun? Okay, ask for a gun. Do anything you want. <laughs> I was just about to quit riding. <laughs> Go ahead. That kid. is another three. Oh, okay. So this time you actually succeeded. And if you want to turn it into a six to level it up, uh, you can. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn into a six and level it up so that I can have a skill called ask for a gun. <laughs> ask for a gun. Everybody in this saloon is like, yeah, of course. They're, they're super happy to give you a gun. Each one of them has at least four or five like in, in their possession like right now. They don't have to leave to get it. You have a bunch of different options of gun just like thrust in front of your face. So you can get like a Tommy gun. You can get a tiny little pistol or like a Derringer. You can get a shotgun. One person actually holds out a bazooka. Yeah. Take the bazooka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tons of options for gum for for guns, but I'm getting operated on on the table. That sounds like America, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poignant as always. Thank you so much, <laughs> Noir. Uh, so so um, Noir, let's see if this uh, surgery is going is going well for you. I it looks like things are going well. Um, uh-huh. why don't you roll do anything one here? I'm gonna roll one die for you. Okay. Um, let, let me get myself all set up here. That's a two. Okay, you actually, I did roll a one. So you oh. are you are fine. You recover from uh, oh. your gunshot wound. They patch you up um, and you're able to uh, walk, but you have a little bit of a limp. Oh, I got a, I got a, I got a gangster stride. I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, the doctor says, well, don't. Don't worry, everybody here's been shot at least a couple of times. I've been operating since 19... Also, we're for sure in America. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm good. Hey, you, your belt doesn't match your tie. Give me a gun. So you're, just, <laughs> you're just like speaking, just, you just like find somebody who's wearing a belt and you're just like, we're going to take that. All right, yeah, I'm going to yeah. roll two dice. You go ahead okay. and roll. You're a clear eyeing one or two, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, here, let's let me. If you roll all sixes, you uh, level it up. Uh, I Ooh. rolled a six and a four. That's a that's a success, but you can still level it up if you have any two line around. Oh, I will level it up. Uh, all right. Wait, shit, wait. Do I level up the skill or the roll? The skill. The skill okay, then goes I'm up. up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. you're not getting a new skill. You're just leveling up the skill that you're using. Gotcha. That's okay, queer you eye. So three. you succeeded and you leveled up the skill. So now the next time you queer eye somebody, you roll three. <laughs> so, so yeah. So you're the person you point out is actually the woman who was crying earlier. Um, mm-hmm. And it looks like she's still distraught. And she's just like, me? Yeah. Are you crying because you don't know how to make a good outfit? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, the woman sitting next to her is just like, "Oh my god!" Uh, and she's like, takes one of her guns, like, "Here, here!" Yeah, you should have said vicious. that. Oh my, you should have said that. Oh my god! When she walked out like that, because that's inappropriate. <laughs> oh my god! You know, can I, can I just tell you, her son got picked up by a giant buzzard and kidnapped and flown who knows how many miles out into the mountains. Have a little I, bit of I sympathy. Mean, oh. <laughs> I, I think you need to see things from other people's perspective. If I was that buzzard, I probably would have tried to rescue the child from this monstrosity too. <laughs> the, two, the two women, uh, she's just like, I just wanted to drown my sorrow in alcohol. <laughs> and they just like run out of the saloon, bawling. And the woman just chases after her. You still got a great personality. And then just <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so uh um so the townsfolk uh they they're they're chattering, they're they're pla- you can actually see money changing hands. 
people are starting to like <laughs> bet on how well they think the uh, the duel is going to go tomorrow. Um, and you can see even the bartender is getting in on the action and is uh, actually helping coordinate a lot of the action that's going on just to help everybody. <laughs> What's up? Uh, during during this time, I am going to make my own gun. You're gonna make your own gun. Yes. Out of out of what? <laughs> out of what? It, I heard this this chap named MacGyver that could make anything with a paperclip. Okay, okay. Yeah, I want a list of materials. I want I want to hear what you try putting together to make a gun. All right, I got this can. This tin can. I can make something with that plus a string and this uh you know, cause I I I mine some stuff. I got some dynamite. Oh, plus a can. Well, hold on. Let's let's roll to see if you have a dynamite already in your inventory. Oh yeah. I'll roll one. All right, here. I will roll as well. Roll for yeah. dynamite. I got a one, so that's definitely got. A Somebody stole your dynamite. It looks like uh, you searched in your pack for the dynamite that you knew was there, but it looks like somebody pilfered it from you. Ah, dang it. I don't have dynamite. I actually have uh, something super, super safe. I have gunpowder. Yay. Let's see if you have gunpowder. I may have gunpowder. Eh. I super. Why am I rolling? Yeah, so you definitely. Do. So your Switch your dice. attempt, to, your attempt to create a gun is going to have to use uh very basic materials. No gunpowder, no dynamite. Just what you have around you. So go ahead and roll. Do anything one. Do anything one. Yeah. You die. <laughs> Six. Okay. Okay. So uh, not using gunpowder, not using dynamite. What is this gun made out of? And what does it do? So I got a gun. It's made up with a can and uh, <laughs> uh, some. What do I have String. around me? String uh, and yeah. a rock. Okay, yeah. You take off. You take off like one of your boot laces. You just like take that, and, mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm. and you, you find like a rock to like tie the string around. Now you've got yourself a little bit like a sling. Actually, it's it's not just a can. It's a can attached to a stick. So I say it's a gun, but it's like one of these things you go. Wah! Wah! Oh, yeah, yeah. OK, you got a flail. OK, cool. Got, you make yourself a flail. Or not a flail. You know, where they have those old the tennis ball that they throw for for things or that javelin thrower, you know. Oh, an adolatl. Oh, oh adolatl. gosh. OK, wow. That, okay, that's what I made. Write that down. <laughs> I made out of ATL, yeah. ATL. Thank you. Thank you, Chance. <laughs> Couldn't do it without you. Okay, we're going to have to speed things up a little bit. Um, yeah. So uh, each of you is uh, going to have to spend uh, the rest of the day sort of getting ready oh. for tomorrow's duel. Um, mm -hmm. And you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do to help Maximilian in uh, the, the, the duel. Uh, who's going to step up in case uh, Maximilian is taken out and challenged? Uh, the stranger in their stead. I will. Uh, GK, I you're gonna be reason. you're gonna be dealing with your wound. Uh, and there are actually some people who have shown you a lot of sympathy. We're gonna come over to your house that night, um, and like ask if they could do anything for you and help you out. You're like a war hero, kinda. I mean, not really war. More like you got yourself in over your head, and people are. Concerned. I was attacked for no reason, <laughs> just because I'm so beautiful. Honestly, my plan of attack was uh, while this mysterious gunslinger was getting ready. Uh, for the for the uh, duel, I was gonna shoot him in the back when he when he didn't see me. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Plan. So you're starting you're starting to formulate some plans. That's good. That's good. You probably want yeah, like, to like I, I want to win dirty. Chance, let them know. He sucker shot me. I want to su sucker shoot him right back. <laughs> so let's just jump to like the morning afterwards, okay. and you guys can tell me what you planned or what you did to prepare during the duel. But you're all here in the morning together. It's about. Uh, uh, half an hour till noon. The sun is almost at its zenith in the sky. You guys are standing outside the saloon. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take up position on a rooftop with the bazooka. <laughs> okay, so let's roll to see if you are able to, to get up on the roof uh, with your bazooka and uh, find a good spot um, where you are likely 
going to have the duel. He did mention where it's going to be right outside the saloon. So let's see. That's a six. Okay, that's what she needed because I also rolled a six. Congratulations. So not only do you succeed, but you also get a new skill. I'm going to call it find a spot. Find ah. a spot. Yes. Okay. Find a vantage point. Why don't you call it find a vantage point? Excellent uh, uh, eye for detail there. So you, you pick out a spot and you'll go there um, once you guys are done planning together. Uh, I did the very great thing. Uh, tobacco's never done me wrong, so I'm gonna fill my coat with a, a thing of a bunch of tobacco canisters. Okay. As a shield. Tobacco canisters. Oh, nice. Okay. With okay. tobacco in there, cause it's good, you know. Go ahead, roll. Do anything one. Do anything one. Let's do it. And uh, I'm actually not gonna tell you if you succeeded or not. Uh, that'll come later. <laughs> Ooh, six. So you rolled a six. Well, well, I, I didn't tell you if I was rolling one or two dice. So, um, but you do get a new skill, which is arm yourself with tobacco one. <laughs> tobacco, um, tobacco armaments one. Tobacco arguments one. Should I? I wish I could morph all the tobacco products made of tobacco. You're a tobacco smith. You are a, a tobacco master to tobacco. Tobacco uh, fisher. Yeah. So, yes, tobacco <laughs> fisher. <laughs> there you go, tobacco fisher. That's what I'm gonna put. All right, you hear a loud dong 12 times in a row. That's how you know it is high noon, everybody. Um, everybody runs into their houses and shuts the doors, closes the blinds. You can hear the locks going in uh, and people are peeking through. You can see lots of eyeballs from every building in this long sort of narrow road uh, where the saloon is sort of smack dab in the middle of it. And uh, the clouds start to form. Um, and around the corner, to the at the entrance of the town, you can see a dark horse ridden by a dark figure with a large hat on, um, sort of riding towards you very slowly. It's uh, seemingly from like a speaker system that might have been installed inside the town somewhere. Uh, a song plays like, <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> thank you no r thank you i'm gonna give you my experience point just for doing that i appreciate that so much that's what's playing as the stranger uh clops forward and eventually <laughs> hops off the horse the dark horse and um whoosh, with a with a large flourish whips back their cloak um and you can see that they've got the two large black hands um, hovering over what appears to be even more guns than before. Um, they've got a whole arsenal uh, strapped to their waist, and you can even see a couple of them at the boots. And what's that hat hiding? Maybe a gun. Who knows? I, I would like to shoot now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Uh, you're going to... GK is going to try to shoot first. Um... Yeah, I'm only going to roll two dice against this. So roll do anything. Okay. All right, here we go. All righty. Um, <laughs> that's the wrong one. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I ruined everything. Oh, no. Marcus is going to have to tell us whether or not that messed up the, <laughs> the overlay. We'll see. No, it'll I didn't. Fine. It'll be fine. Uh, that's two sixes. Oh, what? why are you rolling two? Well, I don't know why I'm rolling two. Sorry, do anything one. Do anything one. Do anything one. Ugh. All right, that's a four. Oh, no. So um, your shot goes wide, and uh, you can hear uh, there's like a, a commotion, and uh, somebody runs out and says, Hold on! Hold on! And you can actually see the sheriff. It's a very, very tiny little man uh, runs out and stops everything, and he says, now, hold on a second. I'm the big arm of the law here. And we have rules, and we will abide by these rules. It's, uh, law abiding citizens, or you're, you're getting kicked out, or I'm going to throw you in the slammer or something. No early shots, okay? This is between Maximilian and this stranger. 
All right. Any more trickery or bamboozlement from any of y'all, there are going to be consequences. Sir, he shot me without warning. Ah, uh, well, all right. All right. Well, that's why we have duels. So you can settle it. Maybe you could challenge Stranger next. Okay. But until Maximilian gets done, I don't want to see any more of that. All right. It's your last only warning. How close is no he to the, to the stranger? Uh, how close is uh, the sheriff? So yeah, to, uh, the, stranger the stranger is probably still on his horse, maybe like, I'm going to say 15 feet away. And then Maximilian is another 15 feet in the other direction. And uh, GK is probably just like in the middle, like standing by the saloon. So uh, I'm trying to think says, about blast radiuses. <laughs> so the sheriff doesn't so if see I am you in, if I am on the in roof, the middle between the sheriff and the stranger you can try could I get both of them you could definitely try <laughs> consequences be damned okay Do Oh yeah, this is absolute. Well, well, hold on. Uh, do you have anything that's relevant here, or is it yeah? Do anything. I mean, I have ask for a gun. No, this is and just I do have, anything. I have find a vantage point. I have the vantage point. Well, you oh, have the vantage point. Well, so I, I guess I'll be a little lenient on the dice roll for it. I'm still gonna roll two against your one though. Okay. Oh, that's fucked. Try it again. And it's a six. It's a six. Hey. I still rolled higher. So you do okay. get a new skill. You're better at my, shooting your bazooka. <laughs> my my new skill is hard to miss with a fireball. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You Should get have been a magic point. missile. That's what you say. You get an experience point for the, the miss. Uh, so you fire your bazooka and everybody turns to look as a huge billow of smoke and an eruption blasts this uh uh what's it called uh i'm not a bullet but a canister out of the bazooka and it goes <laughs> flies past both uh the sheriff and the stranger and crashes into a building harmlessly sorry finger slipped okay hold on let's see if the sheriff believes you we'll do anything <laughs> one <laughs> I'll roll one die against that. Do anything one. It's a five. Okay, you succeed. The sheriff says, All right, warning for GK, warning for you up there. Chance, what are you doing up there? Get down. <laughs> and the sheriff I like it up here. Hands. It's cozy. The sheriff throws his hands up and he says, All right. Let's get on. And he walks off. And the stranger um, turns back and whistles, and his horse turns around and runs off in the other direction. And the stranger tips his hat to you in respect, Maximilian. I nose inspection at them in respect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's actually going to walk closer to you. Um, this is customary and stop right at the saloon. And he says, uh, Well, I'm waiting. Where are you? Chicken. Nah, let's, uh, let's do this. In a the day. typical rules say that you will come closer to him as well, and you'll stand right in front of him. Yeah. Is it like UFC style? So you're like, are they going to kiss? Are they not going to kiss? <laughs> Uh, it's very similar. Yes, there's there's a lot of similarity between uh, a duel from old Western civilization and all right, all right, <laughs> UFC all right. battle. Well, what is the book? But you don't my touch name? blows. Don't touch that. But obviously, Maximilian. Mom, just before anything, I, I'm Maximilian. Well, what is your name, there, stranger? Tell you what, you alive after this? I'll take my name. He turns around. Awesome. All right, we'll do we'll do that. And uh, oh, also, next time, 
Don't be a punk and shoot somebody without a notice. Just letting you know. Yeah, dick move. <laughs> Next time, don't make checks your mouth can't cash. And he takes one step forward and then another step forward. Once you guys get to uh, 12 paces, you're supposed to turn around and shoot. Yep. Can I can I do one last thing? Yeah, of course. What do you want to do? And next time, try adding some color to your outfit. It's a bit redundant. And we're in the hot sun. This outfit doesn't work. And you should probably only season. have one bullet in your gun. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Okay. You are really going for it with this. All right. So how, what's your, what level is it at now? Three. It's at three. It's at three. I'm only going to roll two dice. We'll see. Okay. Let's we'll see. see. If, uh, if I'm doing my best to help. Get lucky. Roll, yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Here we go. Oof, that's not great. That is a total of six. Oh no, that is not enough, unfortunately. So, um, the stranger, Ooh, um, rough. stranger just straight up ignores you, gives you the cold shoulder, and just keeps on walking. I'm kind of into that. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> Focus on on uh, the mission at hand. He doesn't have his hand on his gun yet. He's uh he's already gotten eight paces. Maximilian, you're probably eight paces at this point too. Yeah, is I'm a, using my addle addle, addle, right? Yeah, addle yeah. addle. I got a level one in addle addles. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then right. if it, it if I'm gonna still shoot, and even if I can I make it so even it I I could if I hit, I'll tell you what I'm using as my uh as my ammo. Well, yeah, tell me what your plan. Tell me what your plan is, and uh, we'll roll for it. Okay, so I. Don't have bullets because it's a little. I don't have gunpowder or dynamite, but I have a jar of my old tobacco spit. Okay. Oh, interesting. And okay. So that is what I'm at. I I am firing at this person. Okay, you're gonna fire tobacco spit. Are you just gonna spit at him? No, no. It's the old, you know how chewing tobacco they got that disgusting slime and slugs oh, at people. Oh, you're gonna fling that. You're gonna fling that. Yeah. Out of the can. You're gonna like whip the can and then shoot it from the can. Okay. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right, time to roll. I'm rolling <laughs> two dice for this. I got one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good luck. Hold on. Let me. This is gonna be great. I got a three. Obviously, I win. Well. Do you want to use any XP to, to get a new skill? Because you definitely do not. <laughs> I don't have. I I don't think I have any extra XP. I got. I am nose so inspection happy. one, tobacco plugging one, tobacco. Well, give yourself Pfizer. one XP now. Yay! Give yourself one XP, XP now because the stranger puts one right between your eyes. Ah! <laughs> and the tobacco spit that you flung goes flying off in a different direction. And the uh, stranger tips his hat. <laughs> Rip. There's a there's Rip. a a tumbleweed that that rolls by as Maximilian goes down, and uh uh the town doctor comes over to to uh, to put like a, a a little cloth over Maximilian's face and then drag him away. Well, wait. Maybe I had a hat on and right between my eyes. That's right. That's right. Hold on. You did have the armaments. Uh, I you did, did have you the armaments. You did pad yourself. So perhaps you're okay. Let's see. Why don't you roll <laughs> your armaments roll? Roll for your tobacco fisser. Tobacco fisser. Wait, you have you had that experience point. Do you want to use it to upgrade your tobacco fissing to level two and roll two dice? Yes, I will upgrade my thing to two. So I have tobacco fissing. Fis- I, not Fister. What the? Tobacco Fister. The back off. Tobacco Fister. <laughs> I yes. don't know. I got a total of six. Okay, that's plenty more than you needed. You are totally fine. It looks. It looks like the bullet actually did go into your hat and into a little wad of tobacco that you lined it with. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little splurt that nobody else hears but you, and everybody else kind of thinks you're dead because that's what it looks like. I mean. There's definitely a nasty bruise, <laughs> but uh, the doctor is just being like drag you away. Still got and the stranger out. turns around again, and uh, you can hear people shouting like, "Ah, no, no, no!" In their in their houses and in the saloon, and the bartender just says, "You get your money. Hold on, hold on." 
Does anybody want to challenge the stranger before he leaves? I would like to take another shot at him, yes. <laughs> You're just going to shoot at him? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, go for it. Let's see if you, uh, let's see if you succeed. Oops. Uh, do you have anything you want to apply to this role? You've already shot uh, once. You should, uh, oh, you had a failure. That's right. Yeah, it wasn't a skill. I mean, you've got a couple uh, experience points kicking around, I think. I only have one. Um, well, you got it from that roll. So next time you roll, you can, yeah. If you if you get a six, you get a level up. Otherwise, you can turn it into a six. All right. Well, here, yeah. Let's see what you get. Here we go. I'm about to shoot this this bad boy right in his, <laughs> right in his face. Hey. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. That's a six. So yeah, you you succeed. Um. <laughs> so you you fire at the stranger, and the stranger whips around one time to fire back at you. Uh, let's see if you can dodge it, but you catch him right in the shoulder. He spins around. Ah! Uh, roll the dodge. I rolled a three. Okay, you succeed. So yeah, you dodge uh, um dodge the bullet that uh, that flies at you. But the townsfolk are livid, and uh, they come they come over uh, to where you're standing, and they shout at you. A couple of them are pushing you, and they're they're they're, they're one of them has a lasso, and they're whipping it around over their head. I um, just go, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. Stranger yeah, is, like, hoisting himself onto his horse and trying to pull himself up with his injury. Yeah, to the guy with the lasso, I'm just like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You really think a lasso goes with that? Oh, my God. <laughs> this again? <laughs> yeah, I'll go I'll roll for it. <laughs> you want him to give you his uh, lasso? <laughs> Oh, like, you, you, honestly, you would look better if you lasso somebody else. <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll see. We'll see. Hold on, let me I rolled a one. Game. Oh. Yeah, you uh, got it. <laughs> that is a five, six, and three. Okay. Fourteen. Uh, everybody watches the guy with the lasso is just like, yeah, boo this man. Look at that outfit. Boo. <laughs> Everybody's just like, come on. Man, that was, that was good. And everybody's just like. You're like the mean girl of the town. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's just like upset. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the sheriff comes over uh, eventually and says. Now what did I. That's not his voice. Hold on. No, what did I tell you? What did I say? What did I say? And, and what did I say? I can't believe you're still out here in that get up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think okay, you spent too much time. You so spent too much time sheriffing and not enough coordinating. Oh my. Okay, okay. I'm rolling three dice again. That's fine. <laughs> Wow, uh, go for it. Uh, I rolled a six on that last one, so do I get to upgrade my queer eye ability? You did you have, have a to roll floating all XP. You have to roll all your all sixes on your dice. All your oh, okay, dice. so can I use the one floating XP I had for my queer eye? Um, it, it doesn't work that way. You have to get okay. all sixes in order to level something up. And if you don't have enough right. sixes, you can change your dice into sixes with that. That's cool. Oh, uh, that's how yeah. it works. Okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. I think oh, you'll okay. be fine on three dice. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, you got five, 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 and one. All right, so the sheriff is just like... Everybody's just like... Oh, he's not wrong. Or they're I not mean, wrong. He's not wrong. I mean, We're in the Wild play. West and you're wearing pleather. Embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we got all these cows and you messing up action figures. Disgusting. The stranger rides off, shaking his head. Uh everyone in the townsfolk is just like, okay, well, uh, oh geez. Uh, and the sheriff is like, whoa, what the hold, hold on, hold Take it. And he just he chucks a gun at you. <laughs> Get all the so, uh, I guess that's the end of. 
<laughs> you just shame everybody in the town. <laughs> you take the sheriff's gun. He's humiliated. People are I'm just dead. passing out tickets for bad outfits for the rest of my life. Everybody's just too. Everybody just feels too awkward and too like un like worried that you're gonna like go for them next to even challenge. You. So they're just like, I don't want to get involved. Everybody just feels like something. Oh god. I just yeah, meet so. girls my way through the Wild West. Oh, and after like a couple of minutes, you hear an explosion. It's that delayed uh, explosion from the bazooka earlier. It just blows up somebody's house. <laughs> so that's the end of the adventure. <laughs> that was Roll for Shoes. If we had more time, I'm Ooh. sure we would have gotten into even crazier, wackier antics. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed uh, that. <laughs> I know I did. That was ridiculous. Um, thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for playing. And Marcus, thank you all for helping produce the show. We couldn't do it without you. That was a that was a rootin' tootin' good time. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to say ta ta for now. But wait, folks, don't go anywhere. We have a uh, an exciting episode of Sarah's Table coming up right after this, in just a half hour. Uh, they will be playing Retrograde. So if you are um, excited to see a little bit more gaming um, from Sarah and their table, please check it out. It's happening right after this. But that's just, we're just going to say ta-ta for now, and we will see you guys again same time next week.